if you want to see how I got this look, continue watching. So I'm starting off with a white base from Smashbox and it's no longer in store so it doesn't even matter what the name is but just find any white base that you can find and blend that over your lids. Anytime you want to look with color especially on dark skin you need to get a white base so that the color can actually pop on your skin tone so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going into the Modern Renaissance palette just to get a, a flesh tone color, just to set my lids. Um, I just figured that I would go in dry, but that was a big mistake, <laughs> and you will see later on in the video that the, the, the yellow gave me a lot of trouble. I should have went in wet, but usually I set my lids because I don't really do dramatic looks every day, but I shouldn't have, and I learned real quick. <laughs> So I'm going with the Afric palette by Juvia's Place and it's really colorful and nice. And I'm just going with that orange color just to blend it in my crease. Anytime I'm going with a colorful look, I like to either start with an orange or a, a dark pink or a cranberry or plum shade. It just suits my skin tone. So I thought orange was a proper uh, color to start with just to define my crease a little bit, give it a little bit of warmth. And I sped up this video a lot last year usual but really and truly in real time I'm just really blending everything out properly because if you're doing a colorful look and you don't blend it's gonna be a mess so make sure you get a nice blending brush fluffy and then blend and now I'm going in with this cranberry plum shade and just putting it in my crease just below the orange not you know removing the orange but complementing it and that's just to deepen the crease a little bit more and just to make it a little bit lively you know give it a little bit more color and so that's what I'm doing and again I'm using a different blending brush by Real Techniques and I'm just blending in seamlessly to so that these two can come together and give me a nice gradient effect on the lid before I put down my colors now I'm going in with the Bright Lights palette by Pinky Rose and I'm just checking out what yellows from what palettes I can use. That yellow was okay but I'm checking out the Zulu by Juvia's now. I really like that yellow but it's the worst yellow thus far. So I decided to go back and forth between the yellow by the, in the Zulu and the Afric palette by Juvia's Place. And now I'm going back with the white base and laying it over my lid again because I realized that the lid dry will not lay the yellow properly. So I'm going back with that, uh, that primer and going and laying that yellow on top of it. I really tried my best to just blend this thing out, but it was really giving me a lot of problems. I was going back and forth between... Uh, the two different yellow shades because I just didn't know which one was just working properly for me and neither of them did but I just you know kept going because the yellow was just looking good so I wanted to keep the look going I had a goal in mind <laughs> Now I'm just going in with glue and I just realized that it wouldn't work regularly with, with any um, wet base so I went in with glue and then I'm going to apply the green onto the glue after it dries down a little bit because I just didn't want to wrestle with any more shades so I just went in with glue. Do not try this at home please just use something else. You go in with a wet lid and I'm just applying to the other side more glue. It worked actually, but it's just too much trouble. I wouldn't want to go through that much trouble just to lay a color on my lid. But I, in the meantime, <laughs> I didn't know what else to do. So I just, you know, used what I could at the time. And it's looking good so far. I like it. I like it. And I'm just blending that properly. Just packing the color on with colors. I'm... Um, going on my lid i noticed that it's better to just pack the colors on instead of blending them all over the lid because it just doesn't look good now i'm going in with a green a neon green from the pink heroes palette and i just want to blend in the yellow and the green a little bit more since there's this harsh line in the middle and so i'm just going in with that neon green and just blending the yellow and the green together so it can give me a nice gradient effect
it was not even blending the way I wanted it to but at that point I had already blended so much so I just kept going so now I'm going in with the purple um, shade in the Zulu palette this is one of my favorite purple shades it does it gets the job done it's not patchy it's really smooth it just gets the job done I really love this purple shade and so I'm just going on my outer V and just defining the look a little bit while giving it a nice different tone going so i just really really love this purple i think when that purple runs out i'll just purchase another palette just for that purple because i haven't gotten one that was as good as this one and so i'm just going and blending it out and now i'm going in with the um a neon liner from nyx cosmetics and just lining around the eyes because i just thought the color by itself just wasn't working for me i just I didn't know what to do so I just went in with this liner and this is a pale neon yellow shade and so I'm just going um, and outlining that crease with the shade and then next I'm gonna put glitter on top of it to give it a little bit of room but I think this was the best option for the look So guys, my camera cut off at the point where I was like just being done with the eyeshadow. I didn't really do too much extra. The only thing I did was I added some glitter um, to that line, if you can see here above, to just cut the crease a little bit. I added I added these two, which are the um the 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 NYX Vivid Bright, the NYX Vivid Brights liner, and so these are the two I used. I used the yellow one to cut on top of my crease, and then I used the green one to um, give me a little color under my eyes. And the glitter one that I use is the Urban Decay Heavy Metals liner, and I used it in the color distortion and i use and i put that one on top of the yellow i don't know if you so i put the the distortion on top of the yellow so it looks white and it has like um pink um and green reflux in the tube and maybe a little bit of blue but when you put it on your lid or wherever you want to put it, it 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 looks like green and so that's why i decided to use this since i have a little bit of green action going on on the lid and so these are the three liners i used on the bottom i did the very same thing i used per the purple the orange and the only difference is i put some green in the inner corner and then i put that same urban decay heavy metals liner in the inner corner of my eye just to give me a little pop of glitter in my inner corner and so that was the look I'll make a separate video just dedicated to Fenty products because I'm really, really late on the Fenty bandwagon. Like, when I say I just recently started using Fenty, it's because I just think that I just was trying to wait to see if the trend will die down because i like quality makeup i want to spend my money on quality makeup and i wanted to make sure that if i was buying something that it was not just because it was on trend and so i wanted the trend to die down and then see okay what do people really think about these products after it's been around for like more than a year and so that's why i decided to wait and so finally finally I'm trying out Fenty Beauty and today I used the primer the um it's called it's called the in the pro filter instant recharge primer and it's in soft matte and I bought a little mini tube just to try it out before I decide to come into the full bottle and I must say I really like it I'm liking it okay Fenty the second thing I used was the foundation and it's the pro filter soft matte longwear foundation it's in the shade 440 and it took me some time at sephora to find my match in these shades like ugh, there's so many of them she added new shades oh my voice Oof. i have the cold excuse me <laughs> but there's so many of them she added new shades and then the shades 
I'll do my own separate um, review on Fenty products and then I might do another full separate review on the Fenty foundation but I'm wearing the foundation on today and I must say I really like it so far so in my next review I'll just dedicate the video to Fenty products just to give going a little bit more detail about what I think about them and the third thing I used from Fenty was the concealer which is a bit newer and it's the uh, the pro filter concealer and I use it in the shade 370 I know they have that whole system of you know that they match the concealer with the foundation that you use but I don't do that I like to go a little bit brighter with my concealer and so it didn't really match what uh, my foundation was but I really like it so far so like I said I would just do a separate video just strictly committed to Fenty products because I think it's worthwhile especially for people who want to spend their money on Fenty because Fenty is not cheap so I'll do another separate video just for Fenty and so for the lip I'm gonna go in with this uh, lip gloss and it's from um, one of my friends she did not the brand is not complete and it's not even solid yet but she's still in her testing phases and so she gave me this to try out Jasmine if you're looking I need more of those I need more colors but I really like this shade it's, it's like a nice bronzy lip gloss shade it's uh it smells kind of minty yeah it smells minty i love the smell oh my god i just love it i really love it it has some gold glitter flex in it if you could see that but she doesn't she doesn't even have a shade for it yet i need you to get on board jasmine and get some more shades get some names get a br i just need you to get on board with this okay but so far i love it and i'll be trying it out today and i thought that it would good it would go with the look that i have going with today so let me put this on let me try this out let me see what's up okay, Look, when I say I love it, when I say I love this look, look at, just, ooh, my camera. Just look at this. Jasmine, girl, I'm gonna need you to speed up this process. I'm gonna need more shades. Get, get, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna need more product okay this is bomb this is bomb this is so bomb it's nice and sheer it doesn't give it doesn't pack too much color which by the way this I don't know for what reason but at first I was on a lipstick high then I was on a liquid lipstick matte liquid lipstick high and then now now all of a sudden I'm just not trying to do too much and so my go-to thing is like a sheer lip tint a sheer lip gloss um preferably a little a bit of glitter or speckle or whatever but just something sheer like a tint or oil or something i don't like heavy lip glosses right now unless i want to do that look that i'm just really trying to make my makeup non-problematic right now and some a lot of the times i'm on the move i'm on the go and so i need something easy what like when i eat or something that'll be easily up, um easy to up reapply okay so i re i love 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 this thing jasmine make more but but yeah it's nice and minty it has that nice minty tingle on your lips that i love i just got i just got this nars um and because I'm, I'm trying to show you guys that I'm not hyping this up because I just got this NARS um, um, orgasm lip oil thingy and this is this is how sheer it is like literally like a lip oil like sheer like a lip oil and let me compare it to this one Sa when I say the same thing when I say it's the same thing, but just in a different shade, the same thing, like the exact same thing. Okay, sis, I'm gonna need you to make more colors of this. I'm not playing. 
but yeah i'll be i'll be using this more often you know this is nars is charging people an arm and a leg for this sis make more okay so this is the finished look right here let me know what you guys think about this look right here i told you guys there were more spring looks coming there were more bold and bright glam looks coming i like creating creative with color because i think that you know when you just have an artistic side you should just be able to express that and i so i like getting creative and bold with color and so this one was bold it's bright and so i'm looking forward to doing some more of these let me know how you guys like it and let me know if you'll try it anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you on the next video thank you guys so much for your support thank you for your views your likes your comments your subscribes i appreciate it so very much and i will see you guys on the next video